She fakes her death to find out which of her children deserves an inheritance. What her eldest son does left her completely cold. There was Rodrigo, surrounded by people shouting his name, and he with a microphone in his hand and tears flowing from his cheeks. He visualized his mother and told her that he did everything for her. So he put his hand in his pocket and what he took out left everyone cold and breathless. Mrs. Salome, who was fed up and tired of her children, of the three of them, how can I be paid this way? She complained while her best friend listened to her. She'd raised her children alone. Her bad husband, tired of her physical change and having to deal with three children, ran away from home and was never heard from again. Instead of crying and complaining about life, this fighting woman put her children on her shoulder and, very sleepy and tired, got up at four in the morning every day in order to be able to prepare the flour and make the exquisite desserts that she later sold on the streets. And they were so delicious that soon after she sold them at her house, people knocked on her doors and even made long lines to try her delicious desserts. Before long, she had enough money to buy a bigger house and a shop, and in this way enlarged the production of it. Then she had a bakery, then two. Today she has a trademark under her name and a chain of restaurants across the country. The wealth that this woman possesses is supreme, and much more so now that she has internationalized. But it's cost her a lot of work. She raised her children all by herself, but she was tired of them fighting all day. It seems that they hate each other, they said. But what caused her the most sadness is that her eldest son, Rodrigo, who seemed to be the most responsible and kind of her, left the university to return to her house and tell her that he wanted to be a singer. Her two youngest children did not want to study because they said that studying is for the poor and they preferred to be from party to party and from bar to another with the latest model of cars and enjoying life wasting money. Mrs. Salome's disappointment was great with Rodrigo and spent all day writing songs in his room, and he waited for his mother's response so that he could be supported and launch himself into stardom through his music. Meanwhile, he was writing for other people and selling the songs he composed. In this way, he sought life. One day, Mrs. Salome, together with her best friend, decided to do something to find out who deserved to be the supreme heir of the entire inheritance. Mrs. Salome was about to retire, and she wanted to know who deserved it. From one moment to another, the family's lawyer came, saying that their mother had disappeared, that nothing was known about her, and that while the investigations and the case are resolved, they'll be able to use their family's money as they please, and that he hopes with all his heart that their mother will appear. Far from being upset, the youngest children opened wide eyes and began to enjoy life like never before. They invited friends to their big house and had three-day parties. The beach house was invaded every weekend, and all kinds of acts were committed there. They traveled abroad in caravans and even invited friends, all-inclusive. They were really throwing the money that their mother had worked so hard to obtain in the trash. One day, Rodrigo decided to talk to his brothers and ask them to stop what they were doing. While he cried of the disappearance of his mother, and he went to the police station every day to ask about her, they were partying and enjoying money that did not belong to them. It doesn't belong to us. We are children of Salome Arista, the millionaire owner of restaurant chains. We deserve everything. And they made a plan to harass their brother, Rodrigo, so that he leaves the house. And they did. They didn't let him sleep. They constantly bothered him and even put rodents in his room so that he would scream in terror at dawn. Tired of this and mourning the disappearance of his beloved mother, Rodrigo left his house without taking a penny of the inheritance. He began to fend for himself on the streets and in a city bar where he sang music that he wrote himself. He had never shown his passion in public, but this time he did it so as to not starve and his need pushed him to not sell his lyrics but to sing them himself. People actually adored him. They always wanted to attend his functions. Rodrigo's stage was full wherever he sang. The tickets sold out very quickly because his lyrics reached the soul. His mother, abroad, found out about all this that was happening. She decided to return and cried for not having supported her son, begging in the streets and singing and entertaining people in bars made her heartbreak, because she always judged that he was not an administrator or a businessman. One day his mother attended his concert at the bar. She sat in the front row, and as soon as Rodrigo got out of it and saw her, he wanted to run and hug his beautiful mother telling her how much he misses her, and fill her with kisses and caresses. But of course, to the public he didn't. He just took the microphone and said, Today I have seen the love of my life again, after a long time that she worked hard so I can always be happy. The truth is that it hurts me not to have made her happy, being the man that she wanted me to be, but this is who I am, and this is what makes me happy. And I think today she is also happy of what I am. I wrote something for her a few days ago, and now that I see my beautiful mother, I want to dedicate this song to her. 
When Rodrigo began to sing what he had written to his mother, people began to cry and froze from such a beautiful electric composition. Part of his letter said in simple and common words, I miss you, my earthly language, my life is you. In total complicity, I would be, I love you. And in a piece of poetry, you will be my light, my good, the strength that moves me inside to restart in your body, find peace. People started crying with such beautiful lyrics. At the end of the concert, Salome apologized to her son for not having supported him and promised him that from now on everything would be different. She returned to her house. She did not find her minor children, but the next day when they arrived, the lawyer did too. Salome hid for a brief moment, and the lawyer ruled that Rodrigo would be the total heir to her entire fortune, but that he should share with his brothers a certain amount of monthly money. If they change course, the company's shares will split in three. But while that happens, everything will go away from them. The younger brothers began to complain and speak very badly about their mother, but as soon as they saw her, they regretted saying it. Their mother taught them a great lesson, and that day she taught them a very hard and important lesson. Today, Rodrigo enjoys music, writes, and sometimes gives concert in theaters because his other passion is directing, because his mother had worked so hard. We refer to the restaurants of her, definitely one as a human being and as a son always seeks to be happy. Let's always be grateful to the people who care about us. Everyone can benefit from making a daily effort to express gratitude. These three steps can help you begin to feel grateful and appreciative of the positive things in your life. Take note of positive things, search for them, and appreciate them. Enjoy, absorb, and pay close attention to the pleasant things in your life. Thank someone, write it down, or express thankfulness to yourself. Take note of the positive aspects in your life. Begin to observe and name the things for which you are grateful. Pay attention to the minute, everyday nuances of your life and recognize the nice things you may overlook. Consider the following suggestions. Consider three things you're grateful for each day nature, people, community, shelter. A comfortable bed or a tasty supper are creature comforts. When you concentrate on being appreciative, you'll be amazed at what you observe. Begin keeping a gratitude notebook. Making a daily commitment to write down nice things increases the likelihood of noticing wonderful things as they occur. Make Thanksgiving rituals a habit. Before a meal, some individuals say grace. It's not necessary to be religious to express appreciation before eating. It's a simple practice that helps us recognize the blessing of having food on the table. The next stage is to relish the blessings of ordinary life after you've become aware of them. Enjoy the gratitude feeling. There are times when you're filled with appreciation without even realizing it. These are the times when you think to yourself, oh wow, this is incredible, or how fantastic. Pause. Take note of and absorb that genuine emotion of thankfulness. Allow it to soak in. Take it all in. Enjoy your benefits as they come to you. Show your appreciation. It takes more than etiquette, good manners, or politeness to express gratitude. It's about expressing your honest gratitude. When you thank someone, you're also demonstrating the first two aspects of gratitude. You've observed something wonderful and sincerely appreciated it. Try this. Thank someone who has done something wonderful for you. It was really nice of you, too. It really helped me when you did this. You did me a major favor when. Thank you for listening when. I really liked it when you taught me. You can also express your gratitude in writing. Do a kind deed to show your gratitude. Gratitude may motivate you to repay a favor or do an act of compassion or thoughtfulness. You might also come across an opportunity to pay it forward, even if it means waiting a bit longer than usual. Hold the door open for the person behind you. Perform someone else's duties without revealing your identity. Keep track of how you feel afterwards. Tell the individuals you care about how you feel and how much they mean to you. You don't have to be sentimental or extravagant. Everyone has their own personal style. However, if you express yourself in the appropriate tone and at the proper time, even with a simple, good supper, mom, thanks, it means a lot. True appreciation doesn't make you feel like you owe others anything. After all, if you've done someone a favor, you don't want them to think you're expecting something in return. It's all about feeling happy and perpetuating that sensation. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.